Don't you just hate it when you spend a few hours reading something? Then shortly after, you've totally forgotten it. This sucks. I hate it. Stick around to the end of the video and let me tell you about the method you can use to combat this experience. Hey friend, I hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, my name is Alexander and I make free software to help people all around the world be more successful with their learning journeys. If you're anything like me, you probably have a huge reading list that's uh, been piling up with dust and uh, you should have actually read it yesterday, but uh, it's just there waiting for you. So uh, what is incremental reading? Well, we're going to be learning about today. And uh, here you can see is the Wikipedia article. So essentially what you have is that you have a lot of information you need to learn and it's probably organized some way, right? And what you do is you read it uh, gradually in portions and um, you don't just read it from start to finish. That's not what you do. Instead, what you do is you read it by looking for key points in the text and you use a tool that can create flashcards out of this. So essentially what you would be doing then is you would be gradually reading the text and while doing that, creating flashcards. So this way you can read the text or consume the content in your own speed, right? And you can enjoy it and you can dive deep in depending on where you are, right? So the software you would be using would help you with the linking so you can get from the first place to the second place. So if you were learning, for example, about the Second World War, you would get links to other places. In this case, here we have references. From that, you can create something called closed deletions. And I'm not gonna go into closed deletions, but essentially what it is, is you have some text and then you hide away parts of it. So you get filling the blanks. We'll have two videos in the video description that you can watch that were created earlier about it. This was uh, something that came out uh, from uh, the super memo guy, Peter Wozniak, and uh, he implemented it, as you can see, back in the 90s. So he's essentially the creator of incremental reading. And Anki, the tool uh, which uh, I use a lot for space repetition is, yeah, actually, by the way, if you're already familiar with uh, Anki, you know what space repetition is. But if you're not, let me just summarize it shortly. So space repetition, SRS, is a way to do repetitions of material over time, right? And it's evidence-based revision. So you use active recall. So you see some kind of information and then you have to think, you have to use your head as it says here, right? Flashcards are information presented in a question answer format and then making the active recall possible where you have to think. So this way it's gonna stick better. You're gonna be able to remember better because the algorithm used will show information or show you the cards depending on how well you remember them earlier, right? So this way you can combat the forgetting curve. And there are more videos about Anki on YouTube, so uh, we'll have some of them in the description. Incremental reading doesn't replace SRS, but it's like you use SRS together with incremental reading. But so how would you actually, uh, if you wanted to use this incremental reading approach, right, with the highlighting and so on, how would you do that? Well, the thing is that there is an Anki add-on for this and um, it doesn't work. Uh, I tried it and uh, we're not going to try it again. So. What we're going to do instead is um, we're going to go to the here in the Chrome Web Store. We're going to search for save notion. And this is a add on I learned about save to notion from uh, Red Gregory's uh, mailing list. I'll add the link and you can see I already have it installed. The, the link is going to be in the description. But if you don't have it installed, you would just click it and then it should show up. So you can see here it is save to notion. And yes, notion does have an official extension, but we're not going to be using that one for our incremental reading. If we go back here to notion, we're going to go on over here and create a new notion page and uh, notion has a few uh, databases and we're going to keep this simple. So we're just going to, we're just going to pick a board and we're going to say uh, incremental reading there. And um, here we have uh, some cards. Uh, no status, so we're going to change um, not started, uh, reading, and instead of completed, we want to call this done reading. And uh, here is our board. So this is a database in Ocean, right? And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to search for incremental reading, and we're going to get a few links up. So click this one, click this one, 
Um, let's open up as many as we are interested in. So if you're not familiar with Notion, um, it's a note-taking tool with some database stuff. It's very flexible, very powerful. And if you search on YouTube, you're gonna find more videos. I'm gonna open up tabs for all of these. And we're not gonna be looking at PDF, so let's skip that. And I think this is about enough. Let's also, there. So now you can see we have um, this um, page here. And what we can do is we can use the save to note and we're gonna get this form here. We're gonna create our form and we can pick where we want to save it and we only have one workspace here. And we're gonna, you can see here is something called incremental and let's click that. And you can see it's not really, yeah, let's go back here in Notion, correct it. It's supposed to be incremental reading. And if we go here, we can see, here's our article, right? And uh, the page is not there yet. But if we go to save to note, pick our incremental reading database, and we're gonna say save the content, and we're just gonna leave the defaults, but these are the fields for um, database entry. And we're just gonna save that. Okay, so now, now it's actually saved. So now you see it shows up, right? can see it's all there, right? And the article is there and it's unstructured. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna capture a couple of things. So here it says incremental reading is a learning technique that makes it possible to dramatically increase the speed of reading, blah, blah. So we'll capture that, right click it, and then add a highlight, bam. And if we go back now here, we can see, we need to wait for it to happen. So I'm just gonna refresh you can see it created a bullet point, right? So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and uh, go through the whole article and break it down. Incremental reading makes it easy. Last, yeah, so let's remember this. And we're gonna add a highlight, bam. The general idea is to form a funnel of knowledge in which fast moves to blah, blah. So we'll mark this one too. We're probably gonna break it up even more. Incremental reading and space friction were both pioneered by SuperMemo. Yep. So that's probably true. Let's see, incremental reading was born in 66. Yeah, this looks interesting. Incremental reading is implemented, blah, blah. So you can see, yeah, here are more links. So we just open them up, right? And um, before we continue, uh, you can see that now we already have uh, a few things here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change these to toggle lists and you're gonna understand why we do that later. If you're not familiar with Notion to Anki, you're gonna see the full power soon. If you are, then you know what's gonna happen. So let's uh, change this into a closed deletion. That means this text is gonna be removed for our card later. So incremental reading is a learning technique. That's also, it makes it possible to dramatically increase the speed of reading while increasing pressure. Yeah, cool. Incremental reading uses, oh, hide that, high recall. Yeah, we'll use this too. And let's spam. The general idea is to form a funnel of knowledge, which I've asked for a selection of all we'll high these. It moves to moves to important highlights extracts. So you can see that these lines, the bullet points we added are the extracts, and this red text is the closed deletion, right? So um, this is actually a meta, right? We're marking the closed deletion as a closed deletion, which is then made stable. Okay, so this is a complex card. We should actually break it down even more, but we'll re leave it as is. There. Now I feel uh, we have the basics, so we'll just delete everything else, and we have a reference to the link. So we can always click this button and get back to the full article, but we don't need that right now. So let's uh, take this image and just move this into there. So we also have an image there. And let's move this quotation block in there. And bam, now we have um, our article and uh, we're gonna change it to uh, basics of incremental reading. And 
let me change that up because we want this to look a little bit nice upper casing and we have our icon so now we're going to click the export and um, if you watch some of our other videos you're going to know what's going to happen now now we're going to go to this amazing tool which i, I made called notion to anki and we're going to get started here and we're going to upload our page so let's hit the next and convert that bam converted and i already have anki installed but if you don't have it you can click the link below and then go to anki web and uh, download it so i'm going to open this up and you can see it has four notes found which corresponds to these right one two three four and if we open this up here we can see that we have a new deck called basics of incremental reading and you can see here is this is removed so we need to fill in the blank so it probably says incremental reading bam and incremental reading uses space repetition nice the general idea is to form a, a funnel of knowledge nice i actually remember this stuff <laughs> incremental reading and space repetition were both pioneered by super memo incremental reading is a i don't remember uh <laughs> Reading space repetition ensure high uh, retention or oh, high recall. Okay, we went essentially from this po article here to uh, our Notion page and then extracted all of this and then we created a closed deletion. So that's how simple it is, right? And uh, you want to use this uh, save to Notion Chrome uh, extension, not the official one, because it lets you highlight, right? Remember to check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.